So I got a comment on one of my recent videos, which was my 72 hours in Exmoor National Park video, which was all filmed on the DJI Osmo Pocket. And the comment in question revolved around how to get smooth stable footage with the this little gimbal. And he asked if I'd done any post-processing stabilization, to which I responded I hadn't. And I just gave him a few tips about how to get smoother footage with this very small device. And that's pretty much the issue, is that this device is so small and it weighs pretty much nothing, um, which is one of the main selling points, obviously. However, it makes getting smoother footage a lot harder. So my theory behind getting smoother footage with the Osmo is to use your body weight to sort of push forward into the motion that you want to do. And I think this works because you give your muscles something to respond to. So the moment you start doing this, instead of moving your arm around like they're doing the commercials for this, because that looks more child friendly or whatever it is they want to promote it as, doing this isn't really going to help you get cinematic footage, which is what you want if you bought a gimbal essentially. Just to sort of sum it up, I reckon the way you can do that is to move with the gimbal instead of trying moving your arm. So what I'll do is I'll get out the DJI Mimo app, attach it to this and I'll demonstrate to you the difference between moving it with your arm versus moving it with your body. Okay, so what I've done is I've attached my phone and using the DJI Mimo app and the moment you do that you're actually going to get more stable footage anyway because the device itself is heavier which means that your muscles have something to respond to instead of just this very light thing that's going to be very hard to keep still. So that's the first tip is to add your device so you get a heavier subject and what I'll do is I'll just move this using my arm and you can see just from my natural muscle shake that it's not going to be wholly stable and I'll just do this a few times so you get a good idea have something in the foreground maybe just to show you how sort of shaky it can actually be and obviously I'm trying to keep it fairly stable anyway but for the purposes of this video now I'll compare that with using my body to move with the gimbal you just use your back leg, you're moving really slowly, like so. And you just do that a few times, so get a good footing. And you're going to want to keep your arms fairly tucked in, and you're just going to move in. And immediately, it's going to start looking a lot smoother, a lot slower, and a lot more natural. And you can just repeat this as many times as you want because. Ideally, the subject that you're trying to video isn't going to be very fast moving. You're trying to get the more cinematic feel. So just keep doing it until you get like a decent, decent amount of footage that works well. And that's pretty much it. That's all you need to know. So just to round it up, don't use your arm like this, like they show you in the promo videos, because it doesn't look as nice, I, I would say. Use your body weight and use something heavier to try and bring up the weight of the overall device and just move in really slowly with your body and you're going to get much nicer looking footage.